Hello, this is Jeremy, and welcome back. This is my fourth video for my portfolio. This is another project. Um, this one was for game production 2 in semester 1. Or, semester, semester 2 for game production 2. Um, this was a major project, so it started at the beginning of the semester and uh, ended later uh, at the end of the semester. Now, this was a big group project, but I can say that I did most of the coding. Um, any repetitive coding part was done by... Uh, so, I solved the problem in the coding and solved the things in the code. And then, um, once I had something that had to be a bit repetitive in the code, I got someone else in the group to do that. But most of the things, all the complicated things in the code were done by me. Um, and you'll see that shortly. Uh, the art, again, was made by LumiSquid.art on Instagram. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this. Um, you'll see uh, the lacking art is the frog, and that was mine. Um didn't really have time to work on art myself because I was coding it. Um, and there is a boss fight, uh, which I'm not too proud about, uh, but I didn't program that one. So I'm not going to show that off in this because that isn't my work. Uh, but I'll show you the main gameplay loop. So this is the title screen. Uh, you can see the nice animations and nice art. Uh, I'll turn up the volume now. So you can hear it a little better. Our studio is called Low High Studio. So as you can see, we're in this little lobby here. And um, we have a character here. You can open up a dialog box. I actually forget. You press E. Um, so you talk. And press tab for abilities. And now a practice little uh, practice thing opened up. So you can kill these dummies. This was for the tech demo to show off the game and what kind of gameplay uh, there was going to be. So yeah, this is the little demo part. You'll see it will end um, soon. It doesn't really last long. It's just for the character to, or the player to kill some things to see how the game works. Um, the dummies are just spawning around the screen randomly. They also don't disappear when it's done. Uh, you can see the abilities here, so shoot. I can press the arrow keys to shoot in different directions. Space does that. Shift will push you forward quickly, or push you in the direction you want to go fast. Um, e is to interact, and F is to freeze, which don't believe it does anything in this area. So what we want to do is go that way. Um, I think if you talk to him, press P if you want to need to take a break. Exit to the left. So yeah, that's what he says. There's the pause menu. You can see the character Maki is sleeping there. And if you press tab, you have to hold tab. Uh, you can see that the it shows the abilities there. So freeze ability F. AoE rock ability, shoots in four directions. Uh, first goal is to kill the, all the mushrooms in the area, and second goal is to enter the portal. So you'll see when we go over here, fades in, and we got one mushroom left. So we'll look around. Uh, there's some hazards on the map. So here is a vine. Sometimes you'll want to, you'll get stuck in this, and you'll want to dodge a bullet or something. So you'll have to use dash, and dash negates the the power of the vine. So we'll just kill these dragonflies because they're just in the way and you'll see there's a mushroom. So we'll start shooting the mushroom. They have 3 HP. We kill them. And here's the frog. So the frog is a, the most powerful enemy in the game. Has the most health. You can see some enemies will drop hearts after they die. Depending on what kind of enemy they are as well, they will have a different chance uh, of dropping the hearts. So, frogs will have a higher chance dropping the hearts than dragonflies, but dragonflies can still drop it. Um, we'll just kill these dragonflies here. You can see I can use my AoE ability. I usually use it to uh, 
get a second shot. Could it's you could see that there was a mushroom there. Um and the vines are spawning in different places. They have set places, and more vines will spawn the further you go. Um, but as you can see from this game, there's a bit of a roguelite aspect to it too. So there's different presets la preset layouts for the map. Um, but not only that, there's different preset things. So the mushrooms, there's a max of six mushrooms in the end and uh they can spawn anywhere on the map or not anywhere uh they have their preset spots but they can spawn any one of those preset spots as long as there isn't six because then just six will spawn in those preset spots um and same with the vines the vines have a multiplier depending on how far you are in the game um but they'll spawn more and more often and the dragonflies will spawn in different clusters in different parts of the map um but you'll see i'm pretty sure there's six different map types so and with all that randomization it does make the maps feel a lot more fresh every single time you go to one so you'll see some of the maps repeating sometimes but uh just know that like the mushrooms will be in different spots uh most of the time and yeah so I'm just going to play through the game a bit right now. You'll see the different kinds of randomizations. Uh, you can see that I took some damage now, so let's hope something drops a heart. Um, and a lot of these things have range as well, so like they won't shoot you while they're off screen. Uh, at least hopefully they won't. Uh, most of the mushrooms ranges aren't ridiculous, so they won't start shooting you while they're way off screen so you don't get hit by an unwanted projectile. Uh, and yeah, there's some vines. Even frogs will sp start spawning more often. You can see on this map, I'm pretty sure it, there's just random chances for certain kinds of maps. I think this frog normally has, or this map normally has two frogs because it's such a big map. Um, and the portal's over here. So you can see we're back here. This time it has vines here, a dragonfly here, a mushrooms in these spots. So I'll have to kill them this time. Uh, there's another vine here. A lot more vines. This time there's two frogs in this area. So it is getting a lot harder. Um, and you can also notice the mushroom amount is getting increased. So we'll continue killing this stuff. Right off the bat we have a frog here, and there's a lot of vines on this map. Definitely want to get that heart. Kill this frog before he runs into me. So I'm grabbing that heart. I'm getting kind of low. Half health. Um, difficulty does skill pretty hard, so you do have to be pretty good to th at the game to finish it. Um, but yeah, I did not want to hit that dragonfly. That was kind of a waste. You can see, this is the same map. Um, this time there's fr three frogs, so it's a lot more difficult. Um, not gonna go to the end just because uh. Uh, that is where the boss fight is, and that wasn't mine again, so, uh, yeah, but mostly, other than the collision I made, but, uh, placing the collision everywhere isn't what I did, so, other than that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this game, um, I'm not gonna go through the code for this one, uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye.